Alright YouTube, uh, this is actually a video response to uh, Think More Pink and her video about child indoctrination. It's wrong. Uh, yeah, uh, I can agree with that. Uh, child indoctrination is wrong. Although, I do have to step into the argument that um, a parent uh, is indoctrinating a child. Uh, and if a parent is indoctrinating a child, it's actually called parenting. I know that that seems kind of ridiculous, especially if you have a particular um, prejudice or, uh, you know, beef with a specific ideology, philosophy, religion, whatever. Um, it, it, is, it is still wrong to indoctrinate a child, although I would say that indoctrinating a child or letting society indoctrinate our children is, uh, is much, much, much worse, much more damaging than a parent choosing to impart their beliefs on their kids. Um, my, my reason for saying this is that uh, it doesn't really matter what your religion is. In this world, uh, God is uh, money, and people pay lip service to the God of their religion, but at the end of the day, they work five, six days a week, seven days a week for one God, money, and they maybe, maybe, maybe go to church one day a week to pay lip service to uh, their other god uh, that they that they claim to worship so you know religion's a, a pretty broken system anyway but uh, they, they got us really sold on this uh, religion of secular consumerism and uh, the way that an industrial nation feels about people is that we are a flock to worship the things that own us um, and I think that that's a horrible thing, man, that, you know, there's a kid, uh, whose parents are not necessarily involving themselves in the lives of that kid. That kid is instead being indoctrinated with Pepsi commercials, Hannah Montana commercials, commercials that make them want one kind of sugary cereal, and then another kind of sugary cereal, and then endless amounts of useless plastic toys that will make that child happy. So the con commercials claim, and yet, as we all know, because we have done this and seen this throughout our lifetimes, you get the toy, you're stoked, you play with the toy, you lose the toy. It's not really that entertaining to get what you want, it's more entertaining to want what you don't have. Uh, hence the uh, cycle of self-destruction that is modern commercialist consumerism. So, uh, while I believe that you are right, indoctrination of children is, is probably not the best way to go about things, especially uh, when you're talking about certain types of beliefs. We live in a society where it's kind of irrelevant, and I would actually rather have, um, you know, faithful adults of any uh, religious stripe trying to impress upon their children some kind of moral, uh, you know, construct to resist um, in any way the programming that our consumer society uh, does without the parents' consent. So, um, so that's my argument there. And uh, mind you, I, I would like to point out, uh, I was raised Jehovah's Witness. My parents uh, Jehovah's Witness when I was a kid. And so I was raised in a heavily indoctrinated uh, family, you know, and uh, I was told a lot of things and told to believe a lot of things. And it's amazing. I mean, yeah, when you're a kid, you don't know what it is. Sure, you know. Um, like you said, you can't really form an opinion about these kinds of things at that young of an age. But, you know, you're, you're dealing with the, the confines of your parents' discipline is really what that is. It boils down to, you know, you're going to listen to your parents or you're not. And if they can convince you <laughs> that the invisible man's on their side, you know, you've you got a little bit tougher time 
uh, trying to justify in your mind that Invisible Man's not watching when I do this, so I'm all good. Of course, you know, people do stupid shit anyway, man. I was a little kid. I used to. I was crazy. Um, not too crazy, but kind of crazy. When I got older, uh, I realized that a lot of things didn't add up. There's uh, a lot of things going on in uh, religion and organizations of men that I would not uh, vibe with. I just didn't think that they were true. And so, I began to study on my own. I, I left the Jehovah's Witnesses and I went and I, I started learning uh, about all kinds of different things. I checked out, you know, paganism, which was huge because, you know, Jehovah's Witnesses, pagan, anything that's not Christian is, is like Satan territory. Like, don't even touch it, don't even look at it, don't even talk about it. And it's amazing to me because, uh, you know, the, the Christians, the early Christians, the, uh, the Jews, they all had uh, different kinds of mysticism that today would be considered pagan mysticism by modern Christians, including the witnesses, whatever, whoever. Um, so that was really interesting to me, but yeah, I went down all that path, you know, trying to learn what the mysteries were, you know, these occult, da-da-da-da-da. Uh, and uh, I got pretty into it, you know, it was, it was involving. It was a lot more interesting, I'd say, than most other religions. Um, I studied uh, Buddhism, Taoism, uh, you know, or I guess you can't really say Taoism, it was like the Tao, you know, it's the Tao or it's not the Tao, it's the way it is. Um, and ultimately ended up just kind of settling on philosophy, scientific philosopher, uh, which is to say that I form my concepts of belief, my, the, my belief in my universe around my observations of my universe and lucky for me my universe really only exists in the mirror of my mind so uh me talking to this camera is not really for you guys out there because you guys don't really exist to me um it's for me to hear myself saying these truths to either reinforce them or hear the flaw in them uh which i think is a pretty good philosophy for somebody who doesn't necessarily want to be full of shit all the time and uh it's easy to lay that out you know People don't really care. Uh, I still try to live a moral life and, and a good life, but uh, I think our biggest problems don't stem from uh, religion per se, although it is an interesting control mechanism. It is just one of many. The biggest one is the religion of secularism, I, I think. Uh, I can't really see any anything that really affects us as much as that. So uh, props, props to you for uh, such a well-spoken piece. I wish I was nearly as eloquent, but uh, I'm not, so thanks. Bye.